Well, here's an interesting vehicle. We we'll get to see many of these around here. Alfa Romeo. Not sure what year it is, but it has a problem with uh, the transmission. Spider Veloche. Hmm. It grinds when you put it in first gear. I've already checked the clutch master cylinder and it's full, and the clutch pedal feels normal. Let's get in it and try it. Well, this certainly hasn't been driven very much. That's the mileage on it. 36,000 kilometers. Is it 36? Yeah, 36,378. Well, let the clutch out, put the clutch in, goes into first gear, no problem right now. He said the problem occurs after it warms up. Let's take it for a road test. Well, it seems to shift fine right now, but mind you, the transmission and the fluid is cool. Uh, no problem upshifting or downshifting. Man, this thing is... Uh, See what it's doing now that I'm back at the shop and it's warm. It'll grind slightly if I try to select reverse right after depressing the clutch. Well, it's kind of normal if the reverse is not synchronized. First, it goes in pretty good, but it does grind a little bit going into first gear if you don't wait for the transmission to stop. When he drove it out here the other day, it was probably hotter than it is right now. I think it got... No problem second, selecting second gear. So I think the synchro in first gear is a little bit worn. See that? I'm repeatedly stepping on the clutch. Yet if I select second gear, it's no problem. Hmm. Well, let's put it up in the air and have a look at the fluid level in the tranny and see if there's any sign of contamination. I wonder if this will fit on my hoist. So here we're looking underneath this Alfa Romeo. There's some oil seeping. Looks like this clutch slave cylinder has been replaced. That's fairly recent. There's not excessive play in the clutch. And there's nothing preventing the pedal from going down to the floor. No floor mats or anything like that. I don't know if there's any oil on the clutch. It looks dry inside there. I think this is just uh, oil pan seeping. Interesting tranny is split in half. Hmm. Well, that looks to be the oil fill plug right there. Let's see if there's another one on this side. No, nope, that would be about right. It's about halfway up. Let's check the oil level and quality. So nothing ran out when I took the plug out. Hmm. It's a little low. See the color of it. Well, I think I'd recommend changing the fluid in the transmission, but we've got to find out what viscosity oil it calls for. So according to all data, this thing takes GL5, which would be 7590 uh, gear oil. Uh, according to the AMSOIL website, it could, you could use uh, 75110 as well. 
I think I'm going to use 75 140 because I know this car is never going to be driven in the winter and this this uh, problem appears to be aggravated by high temperatures so maybe the slightly thicker viscosity might compensate for the wear in the synchro in first gear I think first gear synchro is uh, not as good as it should be and then when the oil gets hot thins out it's even worse so we're gonna put 75 140 in it and see how it, how it works so I decided to clean a container to catch the fluid and the drain plug actually has a magnet on it and there is a considerable amount of metal stuck on this magnet we're gonna have a look at it so there's no metal particles or no metal chunks but there is metal debris so we're going to clean it up and put some new fluid in it because the alternative is uh, transmission rebuild. So I purchased these uh, marine bottom end pumps and I remodified modified them slightly so that I could use them to dispense hydraulic oil like this. Looks pretty good better than trying to squeeze it up there on some of the ones where you can't get it in there. This should take about two quarts, 1.9 liters it says. And that's about what came out of it. Well, it was down about half an inch. Okay, so it's just running out. exactly two quarts I think while we're here we're going to check the rear diff fluid level because it seems to be seeping from this bottom cover here so this is the fill plug here, looks like the same size as the 12 millimeter as the transmission one. So it only took a couple of ounces to fill the rear diff. There's the vent. Looks free. Couldn't see the vent on the transmission, it's probably just a little cap on the top. But we're going to take it for a road test now and see how the transmission shifts. Well I just started it. I'm pressing the clutch. First gear going into gear perfectly. Little tiny bit of clash going into reverse. But I don't think reverse is synchronized. But again, this problem only occurs once it gets hot, so we're going to take it for a run. Well, I just got back from about a 25 to 30 kilometer road test, and I don't think it's improved much. I'm going to push the clutch in. You can hear it grind slightly into first if I try second no problem third no problem fourth no problem first crunch once it's actually in gear and the transmission has stopped it's no problem selecting so even if I hold the clutch for several seconds and then replace it in first the transmission is stopped so it needs a synchro in first gear I'm gonna tell them put it in second first and then first gear put it in second gear use a second gear synchro to stop the transmission and then put it in first gear so that's it. Unfortunately, I don't think the fluid made any difference at all, but it certainly didn't hurt to change the fluid in it. <clears throat> it was kind of dark, and it was a little on the low side, but uh, I guess it's going to need a synchro if he's going to want to fix it. Thanks for watching.